and welcome back. What we now have to do is shape these two sections here, which are these here, and we've got to fit them to this profile here. So let's start. I'm going to select these vertices there. And as we can see, that's still selected. And I just need to come out a little bit. In fact, they don't need moving much really. So let's select the next few. Bring that out to there. We've got something wrong there with that one and that one. Let's not worry about that too much at the moment. Select these here and right click there. Let's bring those out to that section there. But we also need to bring them up, so hit W. Let's bring them up there. And then R, we can scale it back in. Let's just have a look at these again. Scale that out a little bit. Let's do it individually. As you can see that just that little bit of a kink in those there. Looks about right there. And let's just move that out a little bit. Same with that. There we go. That looks and just those there. Pull those in a little bit closer. Let's have a look from the front. Alt, middle mouse. Well, actually, we could do with having a look at the back. So let's go up to here, back, zoom in there, it's not looking too bad apart from this section here. there so that vertices there just needs to be brought in line with that one place it against you notice know, some vertices there got that one in the center that's fine again there there just seems to be something that's not lined up there. That's looking better. Let's put it back into perspective view. Alt. There we go. That's looking better. Okay, I'm happy with that, but there's still quite a bit of work to be done on the cockpit area. Um, we really now need to extend this section of the fuselage onto this. So let's just. Last time, what we did was put it onto edge, then we selected that and then deselected these sections down here. Um, but there is another way we can do this. If we select the edge there and then we pop down here and say loop what it does is it goes all the way around and now if I press the shift key and we then drag it out as you can see it drags it out again ok 
keep telling you, there's more than one way to skin a cat with 3DS Max. Okay, so what we need to do now is shape this to that profile there. So let's just move this across. Bit of a zoom around. Let's just zoom in there. Let's get cracking with it. And we'll start with the top section around here. So deselect that, so we're going to come off there. What we want to do is select the vertices, so pop into vertices. Um, I'll just select that one there as it is, bring that down. We can see these two here, so select them two, just pop those down there. Um, over here, zoom in, can become a little bit tight when you see your vertices but not to worry we're going to select that vertices there and then if we press control and just select that one as well then we can simply move that down. Now we're not going to follow the profile too much where it dips down here. Um, that comes in a little bit later on. Let me select that one there then and press control, select that one, just move that down to there, that one there. In fact we can see these here now. So select that and if we go with our scale tool, R right click pull that in beautiful now the next to there scale tool pull it in there let's move this up scale in we go as I say easy peasy well they might not do in you go come on Stop playing around. There we are. And these two into there. Them two there. About there. And then what I really could do with is just letting them go down to the bottom a touch. That's fine. It's so, alright, this screen froze for a little bit then. Playing silly beggars again. And if we take that one then and just bring that up a little bit. Okay. So that's another section done. Don't worry again, don't worry about this too much where it doesn't follow the profile just so that will be resolved later on but that's getting to look a little bit better now we can more or less complete the final section in this one actually there is a point I want to cover whilst this section is like it is let's just zoom in a little bit now you may have wondered why we actually started off with um, a cylinder as opposed to using our splines here. Well, we started off with a cylinder that had basically 20 sections to it. Now, 20 sections allows us to do a great deal as far as shaping the uh, fuselage is concerned. Um, it also lets us uh, actually split it in half um, in order to make it more symmetrical. Now if you look down here at one of our shapes that we create with our splines, you can see that there are quite a few 
sections with it. Now if I had to extrude that and reshape every section it would be um, a bit of a nightmare because as you can see these don't exactly line up so that's why we didn't go with the splines it would be a nightmare just extruding these and lining them up with the other sections so we've kept it to 20 sections and with that we can do a great deal of modeling and we could also split it in half if need be and make a mirror so that it is perfectly symmetrical I just thought I'd point that out okay so we're going to get on with the last section mindful of the time again it does pass quite quickly when you're doing this hope it does for you listening to it and watching it but anyway we'll complete the final section of the front in the next tutorial I'll catch you then Thank you.